Now I would like to invite to the podium our guest of honor, Mr. Lonnie Poole. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, do you have one of those books for me? No. no? Chancellor, two of the most frightening things that a chancellor faces at this university is one, me being at the podium without a script, <laughs> and the second is being on the front page of the News and Observer. <laughs> Today, you have both. Ira wanted someone that had three vowels in his last name. That's the primary ingredient. This is, uh, 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 giving this kind of money and, and making this gift is, uh, is important. And I think a lot of that I learned before I ever came to NC State. Uh, I learned it in a little community called Auburn, uh, Route 2 Raleigh, and uh, at the Mount Moriah Baptist Church. And whatever you do and wherever you go, you need to be willing to give back, and you need to have God on your side. So those are two important things. Uh, this is not a gift from me. I get all the name recognition, but this is a gift from a family. And I'd like to ask my family to come up here, stand with me. This is Carolyn. This is Scott. This is Ben, also Lonnie Craven Poole III. This is Chelsea, sophomore, North Carolina State. And her mother, Lisa <laughs> Craven Poole. Now, I'm not going to ask them to come up here, but there's some other people that are in this room. It's also a gift from a company. Waste Industries made this money, not me. I just chose to give it away. <laughs> Before I finish that, it's a gift from them because the, the money is no longer in the will. <laughs> also, NC State, being good business college that it is, made sure that the uh, heirs and the state guaranteed the gift in case I croak. So <laughs> they are the givers, and so is Waste Industries. And, and I have a number of people from Waste Industries that are here, and I would love for you to stand up, please, if you will, Greg Poole. Uh, Jim Perry, if, if you're here, Robert Hall is down here. <laughs> Greg, raise your hand again, please, if you will. Were it not for Jim and Greg Poole, there, there wouldn't have been a waste industry as you know it today. And I am well within the mark to tell you that if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be able to stand up here today and make this, uh, this announcement. Uh, there's also another group in this room. Everybody in this room that's ever loaned waste industries or Lonnie Poole any money, please raise your hand. Uh, I want to tell you where they <laughs> Don't be embarrassed now. Uh, if it weren't for a healthy banking community in this town, uh, this hall, I think, is named for, for Wachovia. But going all the way back to the very beginnings, uh, first, uh, first Union National Bank, uh, where Greg was on the board of directors, had faith in our company and our plan. And behind them, NCNB had faith in our company and in our plan. And then uh, behind that came BB&T, and then later Wachovia, Jack Clayton, is down here. So if were it not for the banks, we would not uh, have put waste industries together. Formation of capital is very important. 
and so it is the banking community that I owe a great deal to. And then there's just a lot of friends that have offered support uh, through the years. But the things that uh, really make this gift uh, a big thing for us, Ira, Ira mentioned several things, entrepreneurship, environment, and ethics. And I think all three of those things are, are valid studies and things that the business community needs to pay more attention to. And last, and I, I think ethics probably is the biggest of all. In, in recent years, the things that have troubled me more and troubled our company more is not knowing the difference between right and wrong. Ethical behavior in the marketplace and in the business world must be something that we study. You can't go to Mount Moriah Baptist Church and as we become a more diverse community, it must be found in the college uh, life and experience. I commend the college for its uh, endeavors. Carolyn and I bought into your program. It is indeed an honor to be able and willing and uh, to be associated with North Carolina State University. You've always been a big part of my life and now Waste Industries and Carol and I will be a part of your life. Thank you very much.